Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome, well, we're not in the cabin, but welcome anyways. You know, I've heard some folks lately talking about somebody, a re eBay reseller on YouTube that maybe you shouldn't be listening to. Maybe you shouldn't be watching. And you know what, I think I agree for certain people. And I'm not gonna mention the name necessarily, but I'm gonna describe this person. And I think a lot of you will know exactly who I'm talking about, but we have 15 sales today as well, or 16 or 17, there's a couple more that came in and we've got some pretty good ones and I think it's over 500 bucks, let's go take a look. I've got Wallen in here and Pepper have joined me today. So I'm gonna weave some descriptions of this person. When you think you know who I'm talking about, maybe so I don't have to say the name, put it in the description below. I know a lot of you are thinking, what in the world? Don't worry, it'll all make sense at the end. Case logic right here, CD case right here. This one is was in great condition. And we bought a ton of cassettes. I think you saw one on the last picker video, but also on the a coming up picker video, I think I got this one. This is a CD case. And we bought two giant lots of different stuff like that. This one sold for $24.95 plus shipping. So Case Logic, if they gotta be in good condition, um, can still sell. In between each sale, I'm gonna weave in an accusation that I have heard lately about this person. We're gonna start with the fact this person is not a full-time reseller and they wouldn't know how to be a full-time reseller if they had to. And I come back here and my ladder's in the way. I really need to put that thing up. Whoa. Came back here to look for a Bible. There's two places I keep Bibles, and apparently there's no more Bibles here. Actually, there's some down there. I think this one is up here, actually. There's old one. And I think this might be it. It's a nice Bible sale. You know, I like to get 15 to $25 before I pick them up sometimes, depending on condition. But every once in a while, you find a great one. Dake's Annotated Reference Bible. That one right there. So for $60 plus shipping. I've heard folks say that this person knows nothing about anything except for eBay. So they don't know Mercari or Depop or Poshmark or anything like that. Nothing about Grailed or Facebook Marketplace. Speaking of Poshmark, there's a Poshmark sale right here. I am so glad it's gone. I used to pick these up and sell them all the time. Now they're darn near impossible. This is actually not a thigh master, it's a butt master, which is a little harder than a thigh master. But they don't go for huge money. This one was in the store forever, but it's sold on Poshmark. Shout out Blue Ridge Mama. Shout out Lisped Perfectly. Cocomwa, if you want to give it a shot, 30% off. And this one sold just for $12 plus shipping. I remember buying this for a buck and thinking, do I want to buy it? And I did. I'm going to make money, but it's been around a while. I've heard it said that this person is constantly picking up low price junk at yard sales that don't have a good sell through rate and selling it for way too little money. Like the kind of money that just isn't worth anybody's time at all, right? Speaking of that, these sold on Poshmark. I think I picked them up for 50 cents. Maybe a buck for all of them. I think my mom might have picked these up for $10 plus shipping. I've heard it said that this seller, eBay reseller on YouTube, barely makes $50,000 a year in profit. And this one didn't make 50,000 for sure. This is 29, $20.90, so a long way from 50,000 right there, plus shipping. If you remember, that one came from that sale that we did, that Family Guy draft that we did. It was a super fun video with Mike Deathpile Picker and Rod Picking and Punching. Leroy was there too, refereeing the draft. That was really fun. Speaking of YouTube videos, I've heard you said about this person lately that they care more about content creation than they do about reselling and they cannot be trusted. And this one was from a video we did with Mike, Golden State Picker, when he came and visited us in here, and he's visited us twice now. His son lives in North Carolina. Has his t-shirt sign, my t-shirt sign, and Emma Man, all the stickers, and a St. Jude tie, and we auctioned it off. 100% of the proceeds goes to St. Jude. That's what I put in the description. It's what I put up in the Instagram as well. And when you go to click the button down below, only 10%, not 100%, went to St. Jude. And a viewer pointed that out, and I'm like, oh, geez, I'm in trouble for this one. So we're going to make sure that rest of it gets there. Thank you for Mike. This was Mike's idea, not mine. And I'm happy to do that. And St. Jude is one of the charities we give too often. And I want to read this. The person Casey bought it. Casey has been 
doing stuff with us for years, buying stuff. I recognize this name. So happy when we won the auction. We bought this mainly for the St. Jude tie. We tagged you in our Facebook post about an auction. We recorded for an auction house in Pennsylvania. The same tie went for $1,400. For 20 years now, they have a St. Jude benefit auction. This year they raised $31,000. Holy moly. Next April, this tie will be donated to the auction and would love and would like to invite you to it. You can even record it. After the auction, they typically have a bluegrass band. That's cool. <laughs> I love bluegrass. I'm sorry. I like bluegrass. Southern California, born and raised, and I like bluegrass. It's good stuff. Casey, thank you. Um, I rarely check Facebook messages or tags. I do check the comments in the videos over there on Facebook, which is, by the way, getting incredible play. So all you Facebook people over there, thank you. It is amazing. It's We've almost eclipsed the views on this channel and the Picker channel on Facebook. It just blows my mind. So thank you. Uh, send me an IG if you could, and maybe give me a date. I'm, no promises, but you know, hey, that's an awesome tie-in right there. Thanks. Not sure I mentioned it, but these were a Poshmark sale as well. So cross listing shot, Blue Ridge Mall shot, it looks perfectly good. And speaking of charity, I've heard from multiple people that this person says they give to charity, but in actuality, they don't. So that accusation has been circulated as well. And I have three bins of bags or backpacks of some sort. I think yesterday I was looking and saw the little one over here. I'm hoping it's the right little one. I bought I had a massive purse buy the other day. And I didn't have my camera with me. I showed it. I'm going to show it on a picker video. But it's probably just going to be in my backyard. Because I was just driving to town to go to the post office. Or no, I think I was going to get Turner and Ice Cream and Dairy Queen. Anyway. This bag right here is Bagalini, and I learned about this from viewers, actually. I passed up a bunch. Some of them have decent value. This one's this tiny little thing, paid a dollar, sold for $15. Plus, if Turner's trying to make money for a PS5 come Christmas time, if he didn't get it, he's looking at me. So he's been doing all kinds of tasks around here. One of them is picking up all the shredded paper that, <laughs> that Walling chews up. Another accusation is that this person knows nothing about retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, or selling on Amazon. Speaking of retail arbitrage, right here, maybe. Something my wife picked up at Walmart. I think she paid 50 cents. Turner took the lid off the trash can out there. 50 cents for this, it sold for $18. Nope, that's not the right one, it's Oscar. Trashed cash boys would like that. Oscar right there. Wet and wild. I don't even know what it is. Makeup sponge case set. $18 free ship. Right, we're going to film Turner's Come With Comedy a little bit sooner than normal because he wants to go over to Grammy's house and watch the Andrew game tonight. And Don sent this to us in the mail. By the way, if y'all send us something in the mail, do me a favor. If you send a postcard with a joke or two on it, two's probably better because Turner gets to choose. Put your name on the actual, uh, either the slip that you're writing the joke on. We're going to put them in a little box over the coming months and eventually we're going to do a giveaway. I think I've decided what it's going to be, but I'm going to hold off. It's going to be really cool. At any rate, Turner's got a joke for us. What do you got? Okay. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why don't scientists trust atoms? I don't know. Why not? Because they make up everything. <laughs> <laughs> because they make up everything. I like that, Don. And he gave you four jokes. So we'll save some for later unless somebody sends us another card. And Don, we'll put yours in the little pile over here. And we'll talk about the giveaway later okay. when we decide what it is. Uh-oh, what do you got? Oh, you want to read there something was, else? There was, he has one in, in the, on this, but uh -huh. we already did that in the auction, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, you're not going to do it. Oh, now you got to tell us. Everybody wants to know it. What is it? It's, what do you call a chicken looking at lettuce? What do you call a chicken looking at lettuce? What? Chicken sees a salad. Chicken sees a salad. <laughs> That's right. I remember you did it on a whatnot auction. You were the highlight of the whatnot auctions. Mm -hmm. So far, we still have none planned. None in the future, but maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Turner. Bye. This person apparently sells on whatnot because they can make more money off of their viewers. They only sell to viewers online because they're not a good at reseller. Speaking of selling to viewers, this one went to a viewer. And we have so many bags. And this was a cool story, actually. I was pulling up at the yard sale on my way home from yard selling. And I saw another one. And I'm like, yeah, go check it out. And they were packing stuff up. I love people packing stuff up at the yard sale. Because it's usually just going to the Goodwill. And I always joke. I'm like, oh, y'all are packing up. Everything's free, right? And sometimes people say yes. 
and they're like nope not free but darn near darn near free and i said okay and they had two purses there and said buck a piece and i said sure i've never sold this brand before but it had a tag i figured it was worth something lulu dharma right there reminds me of my ap world history days karma and dharma the religious duty of a hindu anyway that one sold for 15 no 18 dollars plus shipping that one went to Corlene. Corlene, thank you. We do appreciate it very much. This person has been accused of even staging their videos. Speaking of staging videos, do you think really that the hat that sold was sitting right there? Or do you think I dug through it on, threw it on the ground, and then pulled it out? <laughs> Primlin hat, Highland course. This is new with tags. I picked it up because it was a buck. And Primlin is a pretty ritzy area for some folks. It's got some crazy good golf courses, and I'm sure these hats, see, there's a $20 hat, and I'm like, you know what, we can undercut somebody. Somebody might want that one right there. $12 plus shipping. This person gives absolutely terrible advice for people who want to quit their job and become full-time resellers. You know, you just can't make a living selling items for $10 on eBay. So this Skullcap Goldberg Skullcap, so we're getting through the Hogan's. I think we have one or two left, but I think they're actually going out today, believe it or not. This Goldberg one went out for $9.85. Look at that, didn't even go 10 bucks. And that one went to John from the Netherlands. John has been a supporter of ours for a long time. Thank you for the offer. I, it must have been 10% off of $10.95. Does that sound right? $9.8? No, $10.95. Yeah, so $9.8. Actually, that's what it is. 10 off of... 1095 really like your content i like how you share all the things you know to help others you support other people as well greetings john from the netherlands john thank you again as always this person is constantly pushing advertising and affiliate links and all those things speaking of american bubble boy giveaway 700 feet and this goes for one particular item. Send me an email and I will send you the link to it and give you this particular code, one-time code for it. And you'll get it free sent to you. You can't buy anything else with it, but you can get that right there. And the winner today is Patty Trammell 14871. Congratulations. You have some bubble wrap coming to you from Joel at American Bubble Boy. This person knows absolutely nothing about the eBay algorithm, nor could they even attempt to teach you anything about the eBay algorithm, nor could they find their own analytics if they hit them in the face. These Caps shoes, we bought tons of them. The lowest price ones are going out around 20 bucks. Bought them for around two, 250, I think, when it was all said and done. And these sold for $20 plus sugar. After reselling for 20 years, this person has never developed a permanent source, a reliable source for items to resell and has no strategic plan for growth in their sales i think this is up here this right here we got from the sale we go to every year at the golf course it's not a sale it's just a contact that i made where we get all of the club head covers and some golf clubs and some range finders and stuff like that in the winter time when it's harder to source and this is something that was in one of the bags and it was 104th U.S. Open at Shinnecock Hills. That's 2004. That's where Tief Goosen's win sold for $8 plus shipping. It's a divot fixer. This person often picks up items that require extra work, testing, maybe even cleaning. And the return on investment after you calculate the money and just is not worth anybody's time, of course. So this Panasonic phone right here took an offer on it. I, I don't pick these up unless they're dirt cheap. And if I have a couple that I haven't listed, I won't pick any up either because they're just items that end up in death piles. But this one actually open box, but it's new inside. So it looks like it's never been used. Took an offer for $27.55 plus shipping. I think I paid two bucks. This person refuses to take a stand on free shipping, calculated shipping, or flat rate shipping. I remember picking this guy up for a buck. And it's a Hokies plush with a little Hokies Letterman jacket on it and this stuff sells okay for me sometimes it's super light so if it's a rare plush like probably had the only one out there and it's eight ounces put in a poly bag it might creep over but still going to be a first class shipper at this point and if it's a rare item i'll go with calculated shipping because there's not much competition but if it's an item that people have got a bunch out there you want to get an advantage and you're going to get free shipping on it but that one's going to go out well 
I don't know. Now I'm curious. Seven seven. You put it in a small enough. You know these are pretty light. It's gonna be right on. Ah, just over. So I'm just gonna go out first class. Sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. No classic Inaman sale today, but we do have an Inaman sale, and I'm gonna be auctioning off a couple of these right here. And more than likely, viewers will buy them. And well, it's got a little gunk on it. I'll have to clean that one off. But that is a fleet in a man. Man, that is a dirty one. Hold on. Clean that off. But I'm going to see if I can find you a clean one. Save me the time right now. These club head covers are awesome right here. And this one obviously went to a viewer. Boy, if the in a man will get things moving and the in a man will get things moving, this boy should really get things moving. It's also made by Curto Toy. That man treasure has made these into giant plush stuffed them and sewed them and auctioned them off for charity before so shout out to troy this one went to justin thanks this should get some more this should get you some more subs when i'm explaining why i have this on my three wood maybe we'll get my golf ball moving just want to say thank you to you and your family for the show i'm just a part-time reseller flint creek ranch flint creek ranch on mercari okay no ebay well you have an ebay flint creek rancher right there but it's a great way to get out of debt and i've learned so much from you i'm playing in a golf tournament to benefit isaiah 117 house in september as am i but you're from tennessee so you're probably playing one of those out there your show made me look more into that place god bless you and your family justin in east tennessee that's uh god's country out there they say right east tennessee so uh, speaking of, at the end of this video, we're going to have a little thing about Isaiah 117. This person sells things that take forever to sell. There are items that are in this person's store for over a year. Sometimes they have terrible titles and their pictures stink. These Hogan, I left it out because I knew we had these, Hogan school caps sold out. Like 16 of them, something like that. Boy, I hope I can find another one. There it is. There's two left. This, these both sold to the same person, not a viewer and so 32 bucks i think for these two 16 of them look at that quantity 16 i'll grab that bag all sold out super quick and if you remember i talked about taking common ordinary pictures when you're up against somebody that looks like they're selling you know massive quantities in a company you know clothes out type stuff and they're using stock photos and sometimes people buy them from you for more even though there's a listing out there that's less these sold for 15 bucks each where 15.95 each where those are listed for 12.99 but they have a fancy picture that doesn't show the bag and doesn't show, show nwo and all that just laying on the table and these sold pretty quick and the last two on the list here are two just absolute unforgivable sins here that they don't advocate for all eBay resellers to use promoted listing, which we all know that if you don't do that on every single item, you just simply can't sell anything. So, you know, that's a unforgivable sin right there. And just to cap it all off, this person actually has said that some VHS, sealed VHS, are actually worth money and they're not scams. And so anybody that'll tell you that, you know, just isn't worth their salt, so... I will tell you this about this person. He's got a beautiful wife and terrific t-shirts. So anyway, thank y'all for joining us today. I'm going to give a little ending to this as well and uh, show you a couple things as well. Hey, I appreciate you guys always. And it's a little preview of a speech that I'm going to be giving at the List Camp List Perfectly event in phoenix here i feel like this is my magnum opus for the reselling community because there are so many of us out there that do things in so many different ways and we do things for different reasons we don't all do this to make a million dollars and almost nobody makes a million dollars doing this and nobody does it the way that i do it and most of you do it out there I do it because it brings me joy. I absolutely love reselling. I love going to garage sales. I love finding little trinkets that I can make six bucks on and help support my family, my future, my retirement, get out of debt. I absolutely love it. And I love all of you guys out there as well. Thank you for joining me and check out the end of this video. By the way, if you ever want to follow real resellers that are full-time dependent on all of the things they do reselling, follow reseller and for not this guy. Not, not this guy. 
these guys right here. And for those of you who are new to the show, this is Reagan, my little homeschool hustler. And she runs the CommonwealthPicker.com store, which is where we sell our merch to viewers. All right, what do you got? Well, at least I got an Enema Man. Got an Enema Man right here to get things moving out of your eBay store. And Reagan has an announcement, a new product in the CommonwealthPicker.com store. What do you got? New Trash to Cash Ikea bags. Trash to Cash Ikea bags. Look at that. So awesome. Like our Commonwealth Picker ones. Yep. And we don't have any Commonwealth Picker ones. They sell out super duper fast. Within We sold, what, 100 of them within a day and a half, I think, last yeah. time. Crazy fast. These probably won't go as fast. But the good news is Dave and Carrie get no money from them whatsoever. And Reagan does. That's really good news. Yep. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Listen, y'all, one of the worst of all for this guy is he doesn't even do the reselling work himself. He gets other people to help him. Can you believe that? Those of you that are new to the show, this is my wife, and she comes in here and piddles around a little bit here and there while I do so most fun. of the work. So, what are you doing, Bubba? Pup right there. Yeah. Terrible, terrible pup. <laughs> Aren't you, Wally? What you've been using lately to get in shape? <laughs> Is it working, baby? Let's show them. Let's show them. <laughs> Wally, come here, bud. Yeah, I'm going by. Say no way. That's my mama. Hey, as you know, we love to work with organizations, and your generosity has allowed us to do that as a family. And Andre at the Blessing Place is one, and we highlighted that in a video, and I just wanted to highlight Isaiah 117. We work with a couple other charities as well, but they're not local. And th these folks are, although that organization is more than just local. And it is, this is right near where I used to work. And I know this community well. And I stumbled across this organization by going to yard sales not long ago. And they had lemonade stands raising money for this place right here to help out foster kids. And we're going to talk to Dana today about it. Hi y'all, I am at Isaiah House. I don't know, what do you call, what do you, this is Dana, by the way. Yes. What do you call, is this, what do you call this home right here? Is it Isaiah House? Isaiah what would you call the, house. Okay, Isaiah 117 House. Yes. And if you've been watching me or my channel for a while, you know I have these bracelets. And a lot of you have contributed um, buying $3 bracelets. And I just wanted you to show what it's going to, I wanted to show y'all what it's going to and for. So would you mind telling them a little bit about what y'all yes. do? Yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. So on removal day, when kids are removed from their home, mm -hmm. they're typically brought to the Department of Social Services mm -hmm. office, which is downtown. It's a... And we're in Lynchburg, Virginia, by the way. Yes, and that is just an office. So it's on the third floor and it's cubicles, it's conference mm -hmm. rooms. And Government so, building. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. And so while a caseworker is looking for foster parents, mm -hmm. sometimes that takes a long time, a right. couple hours, a couple mm -hmm. days, and they're waiting in a cubicle mm -hmm. or a conference room with few toys. So what this is, is it's a home, as you can see, fully furnished. Yes, As it's if beautiful. someone lives here. Um, <laughs> And so now they can be brought here where mm -hmm. they can play with toys, they can take a bath. They can Do you mind if I peek over here while you're talking? Keep, yeah, keep yeah. talking. So I this just is our show. teen room. So we've Look got this. PlayStation, Xbox, I don't know all the latest games. You know, but I'm we... thinking about something and I didn't even think about this. Yes. Yeah, so... You know, I'm at garage sales all the time. Oh. And, it, you know, if you ever need anything right. different, a different system or it, whoop, I'm yeah. picking stuff here. Yeah. Anything or games, they have an Xbox there. Yes. They got Nintendo Switch, so maybe I might be able to bring some yeah, that's more idea. games or something too. Great yeah. idea, yeah. Very cool. So, uh, because teens actually wait typically, you know, the longest to their mm -hmm. place. Right. So we want to make a really uh, just an area for them. Uh -huh. So that's our teen, our teen nook. Do they stay here? Like, like yeah. I mean, if it's like days, there's a, a place yes. for them to stay and everything. Yeah, there's okay, a girls' room and a boys' room as long as the caseworker stays with them. They're right. not in the custody okay. of the volunteers. So right, as long right, as the right. caseworker stays. You know, it's it's meant to, to crash overnight, mm -hmm. so for sure. Awesome. Um, wow. So coming here will be, you know, playroom, which we are still, we're about four to six weeks away from opening. Okay, I knew it was getting close, yes. so I, was, I wanted to come by now and just to take yes. a look. It's beautiful, and you had, my understanding is you had contractors, everything was donated, yes. right? everything has been donated. And there's um, no government funds involved no. or anything, it's just we all people doing it. We are supported by, you know, Lynchburg. Mm -hmm. in, in family and friends yep. so it's it's been amazing very very cool. so so you know excuse the, the mess oh well hey okay, so <laughs> it doesn't look like a mess to me you should see my house 
<laughs> so the caseworkers can have, you know, a private spot to make those okay. difficult phone calls. Okay. And hop in their computer if they need to. And there's our security system that's actually oh, like going it. up as we speak. They've been working hard. Very cool. And that's also been donated. And um, so I, the reason I, for those of you who don't know, I'm sorry, I don't want to get you yeah, out of frame here, is because you guys started raising funds multiple different ways but one of them was with lemonade stands yes. and that's the first i saw of you guys yes. and i had bought a bunch of stuff and then donated yep. to the lemonade stand which is coming up we do that annually yep. in july so we well, have as many as, as around <laughs> here so mm -hmm. yeah good okay so you know kitchen with you know we will have fully stocked food mm -hmm. uh junk food specifically this is, <laughs> we want to make this day memorable and there's no vegetables in this house right. that is awesome yeah. so i used to teach over at ec glass actually oh, i taught really? there for 21 years okay and so i know this is a, a need in this community unfortunately yeah. but it, it definitely is and it's, but it's an amazing thing y'all are doing yeah so, so um for privacy reasons we'll just come through the back so. okay this sure. will be the entrance that, that we come through and okay um, yeah. so. that makes sense yeah. that's awesome well so i just, just to, wanted to say thank you thank you and we're going to give you a check i'm not going to give uh, you a check this is going to be i got to find my wallet here from the viewers here okay. so you can thank them you don't need to thank me and uh that's amazing there you go and we're going to get some more bracelets for you yes i got a bag we'll, for you guys over here let me get you if we ever do another whatnot show and we'll, we'll put them on there and so do it again cool. and come back and, and give you some more money so Thanks for helping change the way foster care begins. Well, I can only imagine plenty of these with, how so. much it is. So I appreciate you, Daniel, very so much. much. It's nice Bye. to meet you.